okay let's uh, start with the uh, in, in let us continue with the sdt uh, topic and the uh, the topic here is to, to build the syntax tree uh, using the sdt so let's say uh, we continue with the same grammar e equal to e tends to e1 plus t or t then e tends to t1 star f or f and f tends to id so what is the appropriate uh, action part for this for each of this so that no uh, uh, it could generate the appropriate pass tree right or the syntax tree so let's say e dot nptr nptr is equal to e1 dot nptr but uh, what it has to do is to, it has to create a node right so i'm saying that there is a make node function which is going to create a node uh, uh, doubly linked list node and uh, there will be one left pointer there will be one right pointer and there will be some value associated in between right so uh, what is that it is going to have is e1 dot nptr on the left hand side comma the operator plus uh, in between and t1 i mean t dot nptr uh, in the in this one so in this way uh, it is going to create one node uh, for the first one and uh, that's how it's going to be there and then here there will be it is nptr is equal to simply t dot nptr right okay so in this way it is going to be there i'm putting semicolon here so that uh, there is no problem at all and uh, t dot nptr what will happen here is t dot nptr is equal to make node make node and uh, there is t1 dot nptr see there are, there is t and t available here e and e available here that's why what i'm doing is i'm giving name here t1 i'm limiting this as t1 and this as e1 so that no uh, it can avoid the confusion so there is star right and this is uh, f dot nptr okay so semicolon and bracket finish and t dot nptr equal to f dot nptr right and uh, what will happen here is uh, it has to create a node f dot nptr f dot nptr is equal to make node because it is again the leaf node which is having going to have some identifier or a value associated with it right so make node and then what i will do is null comma the actual value that is id dot name i'm giving some attribute that is id dot name and again null right so this is finished and in this way your uh, sdt uh, the action part for the uh, syntax tree would be there so uh, what would be the extract syntax tree let's say extract syntax tree for uh, uh, the, uh, the expression 2 plus 3 into 4. If I want to do this, then what it will do is, uh, uh, what it will do is, uh, it will be like uh, 2 plus 3 in uh, star 4. So, uh, 2 plus 3, right? So, E equal to, so 2 plus, right? And then star, then 3 and 4. So, 2 plus 3 star 4. So, 3 plus, uh, 3 star 4 will be evaluated first, right? And, uh, then it will be added with the value 2. So in this way, uh, the, the, the pass rate does not, see this pass rate, the abstract pass rate does not show you the details about the variables, right? So uh, we need to have some more things associated with this. You note down this information and uh, we'll continue with this uh, uh, in a diff, uh, with the other diagram. So just remember it is E tends to E1 and t tends to t1 so that's why it becomes easy for us and then f tends to id also we are having the make node so make node is at three places one is e dot nptr t dot nptr and f dot nptr and this is no there is no more detail available i mean it does not show the details about the variable so we'll look into some other representations also so uh, a detailed representation right So what will what it will be e tends to e plus t, right? Because that was the first thing, and then e tends to t, t tends to f, f tends to id, right? This was the uh, as per the grammar, and then t tends to t star f, right? So t star and f, this was the case, and then f, t tends to f and f tends to id, and this was f tends to id. So based upon this, now this is another representation of the uh, of the uh, syntax tree uh, and uh, using this no uh, I mean uh, why do we need this uh, 
abstract pastry is you know there are various uh, ways uh, in which uh, mm, uh, we could represent intermediate code and uh, one of the popular intermediate uh, code is this index tree right so if we carry out the syntax directed translation on a given string um, i'm going to get the pastry right so if you see here uh, what we are um, what i'm telling here is you no know, for this representation so let's say this is id uh, dot value equal to id equal to 2 right and this is id equal to 3 and id equal to 4 right so these are the values which uh, are associated now uh, i'm saying that no uh, when i'm uh, parsing this entire operation what is going to happen is uh, e tends to uh, this this is going to happen in this way right when the first operation uh, that is going to take place is uh, f tends to id there is a make node function which is uh, executed so what will happen is uh, there will be a, a node which will be created there will be a node which will be created and there will be null on the left hand side as well as on the right hand side so i'm saying we are null on the left hand side and null on the right hand side right and there will be value which is associated with that so what is that value which is associated is two let's say so this is the first uh, phase uh, first node which is created and uh, what i'm saying is let's say i'm giving associating some value uh, nptr equal to 100 so uh, this is the place i mean my address is 100 right so the address is 100 and now uh, it will continue so t dot nptr will also have 100 right and e dot nptr uh, will also have uh, 100 on the left hand side right so this is going to be there so it will continue in this way and this plus and e tends to e plus t right so uh, what is going to happen is uh, it will continue because there is no reduction so at this place there is reduction right so the other node which will be created that will be three uh, that will be somewhere here so let's say i'm creating here with the value three and null on both the sides and I'm saying that this f dot nptr is equal to 200. So this is 200 node, and this dot n t dot nptr will also have 200, and will continue, right? And then this this is the third node which is going to get created. So I'm creating one more node, which is having some value four, and null on the left hand side, null on the right hand side. So this is 200, and this is 300, right? And uh, this is uh, this is f dot nptr is equal to uh, the value 300. Let's say so it will continue. And at this place there is uh, t dot nptr. I mean t dot nptr is equal to t dot nptr t1 dot nptr and f dot nptr. So this has to be merged. This has to be merged with the star operation, right? So this is like star and this is pointing to this and this is pointing to this node right so uh, this t operation is finished and what it will get is, is, is let's say now the new node is created no this was of make node so i am giving here the value 400 so t dot nptr equal to let's say i am saying 400 and now if it continues further so there is one more node which is going to get created so one more one more node is created with the value which is plus in between so plus and left lptr is pointing to this place which is e dot nptr equal to 100 and t dot nptr equal to 400 so this is going to point to this so this is how the pass tree is uh, created uh, using the make node uh, sort of uh, uh, action part in the syntax directed translation uh, for uh, building the uh, syntax tree okay i hope you are getting it for uh, um, uh, see at this place there is one node which is created at this place there is one node which is created at this place one node is created and at this place one node is created and appropriately the node pointers are adjusted uh, and there are two operators here plus and the star i mean plus and star so star operation will be executed first because it is at the uh, lower level so the star operation is done and when this is done there is also a node which is created using make node so that is uh, given some value which is 400 and this 400 value then is i mean the address is going to be used with 100 and 400 to, to be at the root node so in this way uh, the syntax directed tree is going to be created so like this is nothing but uh, this is annotated pass tree understand this is annotated pass tree annotated pass tree so what is uh, annotated pass tree uh, if any pass tree uh, uh, for a variable no in any pass tree for a variable if we associate values to the variable uh, we are associating values to the variable right so it is known as annotated pass tree so now uh, this is uh, example of uh, building the syntax tree. Now we will see 
uh, example of uh, doing type checking right so let us see that Right, so SDT for type checking. We are now looking at an example of SDT for type checking. Right. So there could be different types of data types. No, it could be integer, it could be boolean, it could be float, or any other thing. So what I'm doing is I will take the simple example and to keep it simple to check whether the the expression overall expression is either boolean or either integer or so. So uh, let me give you one grammar. So let's say the uh, grammar is e tends to e uh, one plus e two, e one plus e two, and uh, or this is having e one double equal to e two. Okay, uh, then it is having let's say or bracket e one. Why? Mm, or maybe there is a number which is there, and it could be even true or false. So I'm checking. Uh, two things. One is uh, whether this number is an integer number or any other type of number. Let's say we, we say it is integer. If I say this is integer, then I would say e dot type e dot type is equal to integer, right? So to keep it simple, it could be float also to check whether it is float or not. And in this case, what it will be there? E dot type equal to boolean, right? So uh, I'm just saying it bool, right? And here also e dot type. Is equal to boolean, right? And uh, th this uh, uh, there is an expression here. So what will be that e dot type? E dot type is equal to uh, uh, e one dot type. Simple, right? E one dot type and e one equal to e two. So what will be there here and what will be there here? So we will uh, do this operation uh, to check whether it is really an uh, I mean integer or a boolean, right? So what we'll do here is if if e1 uh, dot type is equal to e2 dot type is equal to I mean double equal to, right? So double equal to e2 dot type. So if both the types are equal, then what it has to do is and even so this is done and uh, even dot type let's say even dot type is equal to integer double equal to integer right so this is a compound condition is double equal to integer then what uh, this bracket let's say i'm finishing it up here so these two brackets right uh, then e then e dot type i'm saying then e dot type is equal to what it should be e dot type integer is equal to integer else it should be error right so it is error and then it is finishing so what i am checking here is if even dot type equal to e2 dot type both the types are same and if even dot type is equal to integer then e dot type equal to integer else it is error right so uh, if uh, so if uh, 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 like here if similarly if even dot type is equal to e2 dot type and e2 dot type e1 dot type equal to boolean right then e dot type i would say e dot type is equal to uh, boolean else it is error right so in this way uh, uh, the sdt for the type performing the type checking would be created and uh, i hope it is visible to you uh, please note it down the SDT for type checking and we'll uh, see the example. Uh, let's say 2 plus 3, 2 plus 3, uh, double equal to 8. If I give you this value, I mean double equal to 8. So what will be the situation uh, for this input and what will be the type checking, whether it is integer or boolean or what. So we need to do this operation, right? Uh, we need to perform this. So remember this, uh, we have just seen that if it, the types are both the types are equal and if it is boolean, it, the type would be boolean. If it is integer, it is integer. 
we are having two variables of different type one is number and another is true or false it is boolean type variable and this is one uh, and i mean boolean type and another is integer type and there is one expression which is there so to do this i need this uh, production uh, and even uh, to do this i need this one and to have this plus i need this one right so this three would be really useful to us let us see that So uh, e dot t e tends to what? E tends to e double equal to e, right? So the first rule uh, would be this, and then this I need to expand it to this uh, bracket e and uh, e and bracket, right? And then this I can expand it to e plus e, right? Uh, this is how the pass tree for this uh, uh, operation is uh, uh, would be there, and now I mean uh, to make sure that now the values are associated to make it a noted pass tree. So what we will do is uh, this is nothing but a number, right? And this is nothing but a number, and even this is nothing but a number, right? So numbers we know it is two, three, and eight. So I'm saying this is two, this is three, and this is eight. So uh, if this is uh, a number, number number is integer. So e dot type e dot type equal to integer, right? So I will start from here and will continue here. And the number integer is given to this, and then plus this is again given to e dot type equal to integer, right? So this is associated with this integer. Then this bracket is there. So uh, this e dot type, what would be that e dot type? So if the uh, I mean what is the production rule for that? So if the production rule for this is uh, uh, e1 plus e2 is if both the types are integer, then e dot type equal to integer as it is error. So this is going to give give you the type as integer, right? So this is again integer, and it will continue here. This again is type integer. So this is there. Then it is going to continue here, and this is again e dot type equal to integer. So what is going to happen is then at this place it is going to see uh, integer double equal to integer. If it is double equal to integer, then uh, it is saying that it is integer and not the boolean. So answer to this is integer, right? So SDT for the translation of uh, uh, binary uh, we will see in the next uh, example. Uh, just to rectify this, this is e. Uh, uh, tends to e double equal to e. Uh, uh, it, it was uh, coming out to be boolean, not the integer, right? So uh, I mean, uh, if it is, uh, if the, both the types are same, and uh, uh, if both the types are same, and uh, even dot type is either boolean or integer, then we said that it is uh, e dot type equal to uh, boolean, or uh, I mean else error. So this is uh, not going to be integer. This will be resulting into boolean data type, right? So this is a small correction. Then please uh, update it in your sheet, right? So now we'll see one more example uh, that is translation to translation of uh, binary numbers. So how to uh, play with binary numbers with the SDT, right? So we'll take that example. So SDT with type taking we have seen we have seen expressions uh, of different types, and uh, now uh, we would see. Uh, the example of uh, translation on binary numbers. So SDT uh, translation on binary numbers. Right. So uh, what will be the uh, grammar for this? It is going to be n tends to l. Let's say number which is having l and which is nothing but uh, number can be list of uh, bits. And uh, this uh, list of bits can be having uh, a list of bits followed by uh, followed by a bit, right? So L tends to L uh, one and then B, right? So in this way, there will be number of bits uh, followed by a simple bit, right? And then uh, it could be this bits could be even simply the bits, right? It could be even a single bit, or and this bit uh, it could be either zero or it could be one, right? It could be either zero or one. So, um, if I want to say uh, counting of binary numbers, 
and uh, calculating the value of the binary number these two uh, would be uh, uh, would be following some uh, same grammar but with different uh, with little difference in that right so counting ones and counting zeros if i want to do that then what will be the uh, let's say counting ones right and if i want to say counting zeros so what will be the uh, change right so um, what will be there is if i want to count the number of ones inside the binary number right then what will be the appropriate action uh, that will be required so let's say n dot c is equal to that count n dot c is equal to l dot c right and l dot c is equal to uh, l dot c is equal to l1 dot c plus l1 dot c plus b dot c right and uh, l dot c equal to b dot c right in this case l dot c equal to b dot c and uh, uh, what i need to do is i want that b dot c should be equal to 0 and b dot c equal to 1 so that no only this one will be counted number of ones would be counted with this attribute c and uh, zeros will not be counted so if I, uh, what change will be there in uh, in case if i want to calculate the total number of zeros inside the binary string a small change will be there here so what that change would be b dot c equal to 1 and here there will be b dot c equal to 0 so there is a small change in this right so let's say i want to calculate the uh, so count uh, number of ones uh, given to you the string using sdt you can follow this uh, 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 actions i mean semantic uh, actions on the semantic rules and to count the number of zeros you can follow this and rest of the things remain the same no this all these three remain the same right we need to see our total number of this uh, uh, zeros and ones right now i want to uh, do the uh, counting of uh, uh, the actual value right so uh, what i should do is uh, um, to count the total number of bits uh, total number of bits instead of just counting total number of zeros and total number of ones uh, if I want to say I want to calculate total number of bits inside the binary number, given binary number, then what change you will do is uh, that change would be this would be replaced to one, and uh, anyway this also would be replaced. Both are same, right? So a small change will uh, make sure that the total number of binary bits, you no know, whatever are there, will be counted. So b dot c equal to one uh, for zero and b dot c equal to one for one, right? So, what is, uh, how will you convert, uh, you know, is there any way to con convert binary to decimal and uh, to take it forward? So, let us see that. So, in the simplest way, uh, how it will be? Let's say, let's say, uh, this uh, deci binary to decimal. Right, this is 1, 1, which is, let's say, it is nothing but 3 and 101 is nothing but 5 right so how will you uh, see that this is equal to this right so uh, let's say uh, I'm, i mean uh, 1011 this is the uh, question that i'm take example that i'm taking so what i will do is this is equal to uh, this value 1 and uh, this is multiplied by 2 and then plus this 0 right so i'm talking of this right so this is giving me the value which is 2 right and then I'm going to do again the same operation. 2 multiplied by 2 plus this 1. Right. So this is going to give me what? This is going to give me the vector value which is 4 plus 1 is which is 5. Right. And again, again, I'm going to do what? Multiply by 2 plus this bit. Right. So if I do this, I'm getting this value 5 to 10 is 11. So if you see here, uh, uh, we have seen that no uh, 1, this is 2, then this is 5. And then it is 11. So in that way, multiply by 2 and plus the, the bit which is coming up next. So if, the, if we follow this, then we are able to calculate the binary of uh, decimal equivalent for the binary number. Let's say if I say 1011 and then I'm adding one more zero. So what is the meaning of this? It, it is nothing but it is 22, right? So this is nothing but uh, 11 multiplied by 2 plus 0. So this 0 will be added here, which is nothing but 22. So if I say it is 1, if I say it is 1, then this will become 1 and this will become plus 1 which is 23. So in this way, uh, your decimal uh, number would be obtained from the binary. So uh, I mean what change uh, will be required in the appropriate uh, action part to convert any binary number to the 
decimal. So let's see that. So considering this as the base, so multiply by two plus the bit, right? So we are having this bit and we are having something here also. So whatever the value we are having, you no, know, we will multiply it by two and then add it with the last bit, right? So if we do that, then we are in a position to say that no, this is equal to this number. So uh, what will be this is, uh, let's say, uh, okay. So this is uh, uh, n dot d well, n dot decimal value is equal to l dot decimal value, right? And this is what we want. And to do this, we will have to do some operation here. So l dot d well equal to l what l dot d well equal to l one dot d well decimal value multiplied by two plus right plus b dot decimal value. So this b dot decimal value. So this is what we were doing, right? So multiply by two plus the decimal uh, the binary value last digit and uh, l dot d well l dot d well equal to b dot d decimal value. So uh, whatever it is zero or one, so that will be available directly. And uh, uh, we know that you no, know, if this uh, bit is zero, so b dot value b dot decimal value b, b dot uh, decimal value b dot decimal value is equal to zero in this case and b dot decimal value will be equal to one in this case right so this is how uh, the uh, the the sdd for uh, uh, translation of uh, this binary number to decimal number would be there and uh, uh, let us see uh, one example for this and just remember this and uh, you know it will be easy for you to uh, solve the example uh, with the value 1011 right so what will happen is uh, 1011 n to l then l will be expanded to lb then again l will be expanded to lb l will be expanded to lb and then no l will be given to value b which will be at a zero or one so that now we'll come to this binary the representation of the number so let us see that okay so what i'm saying is uh, this is uh, uh, n uh, will be given to l and l was l or b right l b and l or b in that case this was l and b so this is l and b so how many times it will be there right so uh, just uh, see that now you get the appropriate binary four binary four b should be there so it should be l and b and then l and b right so we are having this one, zero, one, and one. So in this way, we are having the appropriate bits which are there, one, zero, one, one. And uh, what will be the value? No, now if you try to uh, do the operation, uh, I mean, calculate this. So what we will get is this b dot well, decimal well equal to one, and l dot decimal well equal to, l dot uh, decimal well equal to, um, l tends to b, which is b dot well, right? And in the last case, I think uh, in the last one, you will not have this L. Directly, you will have this B, right? So, I'm sorry for that. Uh, so, it will have directly B, so which is 1, right? So, L dot well equal to B dot well, and then it will continue. So, uh, L dot well equal to B dot well. And here, L dot well equal to L dot well into 2 plus b dot 12 right so this is uh, going to be what so this is 1 at this level and this is going to be 2 at this level 1 into 0 right so 1 into 2 plus 0 that is going to be 2 and here it will continue which is 1 so 2 into 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 so why 5 would be the value available at this l dot d well and again this is 1 so at this level what will be there 5 into 2 plus 1 is 11 so in this way this 11 will be submitted to this n dot D well equal to L dot D well, and that's how no uh, the binary equivalent for binary, I mean uh, decimal equivalent for the binary number 1011 will be calculated using the syntax direct translation, directed translation. So, what if if there is a decimal point in the binary number, right? So, we will uh, look into this uh, uh, this grammar uh, with a small change in the next video.